A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you the Lord shines, and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar, and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow. For the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of the nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall find you, dromedaries from Midian and Ephah. All from Sheba shall come, bearing gold and frankincense, and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. The word of the Lord. God's grace that was given to me for your benefit. 
namely, that the mystery was made known to me by revelation. It was not made known to people in other generations, as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles are co-heirs, members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. The word of the Lord. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written to the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since, since from you shall come a ruler, who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly, and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word that I too may go and do him homage. After the audience with the king, they set out. And behold, the star that they had seen at its rising preceded them until he came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star, and on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by another way. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning once again. Morning, morning. One time I was invited to a house for dinner and a woman asked me so, Father, when did you decide to become a priest? And I jokingly replied, I decided to be a priest a week after my ordination. 
but she knew I was teasing her, and uh, she said something that I will never, never forget. She said, Father, if it was not already in your heart, you would have been able to see it. Today we are celebrating Epiphany Sunday, where Jesus makes himself seen by the whole world. And this is what Epiphany means, that Jesus shows and reveals himself to everyone. And you know, before Jesus came, the Israelites believed that the Savior is only for them. But as time passed, it became clear to everyone that Jesus came to save every human being that walked on his planet. And the three kings who came to worship Jesus showed the different cultures and nations of this world. We as well might have expected God to reveal the birth of Jesus to his own people. But no, it was the people of a different religion and race that God revealed the birth of Jesus. Because Jesus came to save the whole world and not just his own people. God in his mercy chose to reveal the birth of Jesus to the nations and all. And during his ministry, Jesus reached out to all those on the margins. Brothers and sisters, we just started a new year and what a blessing for all of us. I know many of us made our New Year's resolutions, but how about making Jesus more visible in our lives? Jesus has revealed himself to us that our lives may also manifest Jesus. And so if Jesus is not already in your heart, ask him right now to be in your heart. Can we see him or even touch him? Now if you have doubts, just remember, if Jesus is not already in your heart, you won't be able to see him. Ask him to reveal himself to you so you will be able to see him and use your life to reveal him to those in your world. Amen.